Hey guys, this is Josh with RV Wholesalers. And I'm Blake with RV Wholesalers. And today we're here to talk about the great debate of the differences and the pros and cons of the power and the manual tongue jack. All right guys, so a big pro with the power tongue jack is, is no more cranking. So you can just hit your retract or your extend to bring it on and off the hitch. Makes it pretty easy, no more bending over, no more using your muscles, just a simple click of a button. A con is if, let's say, if something happens with it, um, you can rescue it by doing a manual override. Just bring your uh, jack in like this, put it in there and just crank. And brings it up and down. So another big uh, pro here is you do have a backup light. So if you do get into a campground uh, later at night, um, you can have it turn a little light on and you can see what you're doing. Also, uh, with the weight distribution hitch, what a lot of people are familiar with, you have to, you know, bring the bar up to hook it on there. To release some of that pressure, stuff cranking, just hit your buttons. Just releases that pressure up, so it brings that, take that hitch on and off a heck of a lot easier. All right, guys, so here we are, uh, a little bit more simpler setup. Right now we have the manual uh, crank tongue jack, okay? So real, real simple, everyone's familiar with this. Raise it this way to pull it up, raise it this way to pull it down. Um, plenty of pros, plenty of cons. Uh, I'm sure that people that are familiar with both of them would uh, clearly not consider cranking to be a pro whatsoever, right? But again, still benefits. A lot of people, they might not want to rely on the uh, motor to, to uh, leave them stranded. Uh, though Blake did show you that there is a way to um, save yourself if that does happen. It can still be something in the mindset of someone that just simply doesn't want to deal with those things, and we understand that. Um, cons, obviously, a little bit more effort, a little bit more work involved, but uh, this is, again, a, lot, a, a much more simpler configuration, so it doesn't make a huge difference there. All right, guys, so uh, with the conclusion of our process, honestly, it's going to come down to personal preference, right? I mean, it's a, uh, you can go either way. A lot of the units may not offer uh, the power tongue jack. A lot of them might not offer the, the uh, manual tongue jack, but it's all down to personal preference as far as how you guys are uh, going to choose which one is better for, for how you plan on using it. Blake, do you have anything to add? You hit a nail on the head. Fair enough. Well, <laughs> well, guys, we appreciate you tuning in with us. I know it was a short debate, but uh, just, just wanted to be as informative as we can with the two differences there. But uh, all in all, thanks for watching. And if you have any more questions, please refer to us here. Give us a call, 877-877, uh, again, 4494. Extension 1000.